Hello everyone, welcome to Dirty Time with Mr. Sock. I'm your host, Mr. Sock, and today we're going to be learning about checkers. It's a good game. First, a little history. Checkers is one of the oldest games ever to be invented, along with games like, such as chess and the Chinese board game Go. Checkers has existed probably since the beginning of time or close to it, and is therefore untraceable in its historic origins. It probably came from somewhere in the Middle East, maybe, or maybe Africa, or Asia, or a number of other places, because we honestly don't really know. At least as far as I'm concerned. Wow, is it history fun? But what's even more fun is playing checkers. Because playing the game is more fun than reading about it. Due to various reasons outside of our control, the usual two-player minimum that must be met to play checkers will not be met. So I will have to play checkers by myself. But in games such as chess, there is a specific color that goes first. In checkers, which is a slightly more informal game, it's not as big a deal. However, the rule that white normally goes first does usually stand. But in this version, we ain't gonna do it. In checkers, you can only move diagonally. In other words, if all your pieces are on light tiles, you will never touch a dark one, and if all your pieces are on dark tiles, they will never touch a light one. Unless you flip the board over or something. The object of the game is simple. The goal is to either wipe out the entirety of your opponent's team, or get all of your pieces kinged. Normally, the former is done more than the latter. Since kinging is so important, it's probably good to understand how it works. Let's say that this white piece came from this side of the board. And now it has made it to this side of the board. It is this person's turn. Now, the opponent must king them. To do that, they simply take another... They simply take another piece... And put it on top of that one. This piece is now able to move backwards. Under normal circumstances, or in other words... When a piece is just the normal one without being kinged, it can only move forwards. Oh. In checkers, there is only one way to take your opponent's pieces, and that is by jumping them. As always in checkers, your pieces can only move diagonally, which means that to jump your opponents, you can only jump them from the diagonal. This is the usual method, however, you can actually stack up jumps. For example, if you have a normal piece that can only move forward, you can line up up to at least three checker pieces, if not more. I know that wasn't a perfect jumping, but you get the idea. All three of these pieces are now captured. When you have a kinged piece, you can move backwards and forwards, which means that you can move all you want around the board. In this setup, the king is able to take all of these pieces. Watch! Just riveting. Due to a lack of budget, Due to a lack of fun times, due to isolation policies in for by the government, normally chess normally checkers is played with two people, but due to various reasons out of our control, I will have to play checkers against myself. For example, if you have, for example, well, 